Hello, hello, welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined today with a man elastic searching for the meaning of life, Tom. Media to cloud is the solution of the day. How to streamline, automate, and set up serverless end-to-end -end ingest workflows to manage large video content, migrate your assets and associated metadata to the cloud. Nice, okay, let's get into how media to cloud works. So Tom, talk to me about media to cloud. Certainly, this is the landing page for the solution. Uh, like all our solutions, we have a detailed deployment guide, CloudFormation template, so you can spin it up in your account with a couple of clicks, and the source code is available on GitHub if you want to take it and run with it and customize it yourself. That's awesome, let's see the architecture diagram. Certainly, so a lot of moving parts here, but it really all starts with that uploading your video content into S3. So I've got my thousand videos of my dogs, I could push them into S3 and it kicks this off. It certainly does, every time a new video is pushed up, uh, uploaded into S3, that's going to trigger our workflow. And there's a couple of things that we do on the first step. The first thing is we have a ingest step function. That's uh, AWS state machine with backed by AWS Lambda. And what we're going to do there is we're going to create an MD5 checksum for the video file. So we have details on the exact size of it. And we're also going to run media info. And that's going to extract some meaningful metadata about our file. Are you actually running this on the original file? So this is all being run on the original file. Uh, for the rest of the workflow, we're, that's where media convert is coming in. And we're going to create a proxy version of the video that we can then use later on. What do you mean by a proxy version? So let's imagine if you're moving a big archive of your original masters. We're talking about videos uh, big size videos, you know, very large video formats. We don't want to be passing that through all of the rest of the workflow into the machine learning services. It's just going to create extra cost. So being cost efficient and processing efficient on these videos. Exactly. Files. So we're going to create a compressed version, an MP4 version of the content, still with all the same audio tracks, resolutions, and information that we, that we need to work in the workflow, but not that huge original video file going through. So now we have this proxy video. What analytics are run on it? The, the next step is our analytics state machine. Um, what's really cool about this solution is that is actually the media analysis solution that has been plugged into media to cloud. So we're using our own solution within the solution. Yeah. It's a meta solution. There you go. Got it. Um, that is a solution that will t ingest your video, take that and pass it to services like recognition, and transcribe, and comprehend to get meaningful information back about that content. So some AI and ML services that we're running. We are, but there is no um, upfront need to have you know, deep understanding of machine learning to use this solution. Uh, it all comes out of the box ready to go. That's great, it's built in. Built in. So uh, final step is then we have uh, another workflow that's going to uh, do some labeling and some indexing for us, and that's using uh, SageMaker Ground Truth. So that's where the customer can come in and actually identify people within the video content and then send that information to Ground Truth so that we can get some further indexing going on. All right, so now we have all this great analytics. Where is it stored and what do I do with it? Certainly, so the information is stored in a combination of DynamoDB. Uh, that's where our metadata, our MD check file, and just the general details about the content is stored. And then all of the information from our machine learning services is going to be stored in S3 alongside that proxy file. Okay, is it indexed somewhere? Uh, Amazon Elastic Search is what we're using to index that information. So um, that's then fronted by an API gateway. So we have an API that you can query to get information about back about all your content. Okay, can you show me uh, UX that comes with this? Yeah, the, the, we have a demo console that is deployed as part of the solution. Um, I've uploaded three videos here. Uh, so if we drill down and take a closer look at one of these files, um, we've got Andy at reInvent. Hey, Andy. How's he doing? Um, we have the general information about the file. We have our technical metadata that we got from Media Info. And then we've got all of the information that we've gathered from recognition, from comprehend and transcribe. So these are those three analytical buckets that we saw on the architecture diagram itself. That's right. And then the last piece, as I was mentioning with, uh, with um, Amazon Ground uh, Truth, we have the ability to uh, create snapshots where we can focus in on a particular face, 
define who this person is, and then send that off to Ground Truth to get some additional indexing. That's pretty awesome. So really able to glean a lot of valuable information around the media you're getting from your different files. Correct. So it's not just lift and shift. We're actually getting all of that information as we're uploading content into the cloud. That's awesome. Thanks for talking about Media to Cloud, Tom. You're welcome. Thanks for joining, and thank you, Tom, for that technical deep dive on Media to Cloud. The Media to Cloud AWS solution really expedites customers' ability to manage their media content. It also adds analytics through AI and ML. Go check out Media to Cloud and other solutions on our AWS Solutions website.